Hi, I'm Malaya from Mill Lane Studio and I've got a special guest with me today. Hi, I'm Nairi and I'm her daughter. Nairi's never worked with resin before so we've got a fun resin session ahead of us. She's a coffee lover so we've decided to turn this travel mug into a resin travel mug. So let's get started. Let's do it. We've prepared our travel mug ahead of time with a coat of white spray paint which will help make the colours pop. For this project we're using Envirotex lights so that we have a little bit more time to apply the resin before it begins to set up and it will give us a nice thick glossy finish. Nairi measured out the resin and now she's pouring them both into one cup for mixing. We've sped this part up because watching scraping and stirring is like watching paint dry. In all, she stirred the resin for two minutes in this first cup and then she poured it into a second cup and mixed it for another minute. Now it's time for the fun to begin. Nairi's dividing the resin into four disposable shot glasses. She's pouring different amounts into each cup so some cups will be more dominant and others will add just some contrast. She's also left some in the mixing cup in case she needs a little bit more of any one colour. She's chosen some Perlex mica powders in a couple of different shades of purple and a gold, plus Cast and Crafts white pigment. Here she's scooping out some mica powder on the end of a wooden stir stick to add to the first three cups, and the last cup is coloured with a small squirt of white pigment. Whilst Nairi's stirring the colours, I'm setting up the tumbler on the cup turner with a foam football inside so it's securely supported. This cup turner has a variable speed dial so we're able to control the rotation speed which is really helpful for someone who hasn't worked with the resin before. Whilst it's rotating, Mari starts drizzling the darkest of the two purple resins across the cup, starting from the top and working her way down to the base of the tumbler. She's adding the colour in stripes around the cup because she's aiming for wispy stripes and she's not too worried about any gaps for the time being. Once she got to the base, she also covered the bottom of the cup. Now she started to fill in the gaps with the light purple and also very carefully push the resin up to the lip of the cup with a very steady hand. And she also adds some white which will make the purple pop a bit. Once the cup is almost completely covered, it's time to blend some of the edges together and to spread the resin to fill any gaps. Once it's all covered, she drizzles some more resin across the mug wherever she thought it needed a bit of a lift. Now it's time to add the gold, but because she didn't want it to overpower the other colours, she decided to only use it to add a highlight here and there. The colours will continue to blend and move around the cup so the finished cup will look a bit different to how it is at the moment. The last thing to do is to pop any bubbles by passing a barbecue torch briefly across the surface and leave it to keep turning whilst the resin sets up. It took about four hours to reach that point. And then we mixed another batch of resin and applied it all over the tumbler to give added depth to the pearly colours. Then we left it for several hours before turning off the cup turner. So yesterday afternoon, Mum and I had a really fun resin session. Yeah, we did, and it was really great spending some quality mother and daughter time together in the studio. For Nairi's first time working with resin, she did a really good job, and here's the finished result. So I think I'm going to really enjoy having a sip of my coffee out of this. Yeah, I think you're going to love it, Nairi. If you've enjoyed watching this video, then please give it the thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.